Hey, this is a public service announcement. I figured I cannot go through and not tell people of what I'm about to tell you. Um, <clears throat> without going into a bunch of history, I haven't taken care of my teeth for a while. Grind. I mean, some things are beyond my control. I grind them because of stress. Um, you know, it's the world we live in. It's going to be stressful. What can you say? Um, so, chewed tobacco years ago. I'm 52 years old now ground my teeth, you know, as a policeman, you know, just things that are not generally the, the best for you. So, but I've tried to take care of my teeth, you know, eating the right food, uh, flossing, brushing, right? All that. So in 2019, I got these very nice teeth by a, a award-winning uh, dentist, like cosmetic dentist. I want to take care of them, right? They're like $15,000. So, um, and I thought I was, right? So, and the dentist, you know, since 2019, since I got these, um, the dentist says, like, you know, every time I've gone for, you know, a, a six-month checkup just to see how I'm doing, you know, I want to get on a cavity before it turns into a root canal, basically. That's why I do it. You know, a, a, a little prevention is a, um, you know, goes a long way with dental especially. So, um, I'm like, you know, he's like, Eventually, it got to be where he's like, the only thing that's going to keep your gums from receding is to get this, you know, ultrasonic, super cleaning, you know, $1,200 or whatever. I'm like, that's just ridiculous. You know, um, so I'm like, you know, what what in the hell is going on with my teeth? So, um, so anyway, I slowed down, kind of took a deep breath, and I'm like, I used my... Um, you know, these are, these are crowned. They, they grind the thing down. They, you know, they take a mold from your teeth. Um, I don't know if that's what you call it. You know, a, a cast of your teeth. Get the porcelain replacement and then grind it around, grind it down into a little nub and then put that on there. And then, and then you have these. So there's pockets under each one of those, you know, that hold food and stuff. So I haven't used it in a while, but I use, and I'm not a salesman for water picks or whatever, you know, get whatever brand you want. Um, but I, I haven't done it in a while, so I, um, adjusted the, the thing, you know, so that it's comfortable and it really sprays down and, and I really took my, my time and I happened to spit it, you know, the water, I don't, I'm not swallowing it. It's just water that I've warmed up slightly. That's a, if you get a water pick, that's a really good idea. It's much more comfortable on your teeth. So, um. I happened to have a white porcelain cup that I wanted to see how much junk was coming out of my teeth, right? It's one of those situations like um, when I started doing it, it's like it's like shoes that you get used to that aren't really comfortable, but you wear them anyway, and you just don't really, you just kind of put it out of your mind. Well, when I started going around here and the, the pressured water started going in there and cleaning in between my teeth, like all that gunk, it's like... It's like I put on the perfect pair of shoes for me to have a, you know, synonymous way of saying it. Um, it's like, it's like, oh, it's like relief. It was like instant relief. And I'm spitting and it just happened to be a white porcelain, you know, a cup with a, that's enameled white on the inside. So I, um, I'm spitting this there and I'm seeing in my, and my teeth feel fine or I thought they felt fine, but I'm, there's like, the, the water's pink because it's clearly blood and bits of food that I had no idea were like in there. So I did it a couple uh, evening before last, right? Like two days ago. And I did it yesterday morning and night. And, you know, a few little bits of food came out, but no blood or anything like that. And then I just did it a little while ago uh, now. And, um, and it's fine, and they feel completely clean, you know. Um, I do have a Sonicare toothbrush as well, but I'm telling you right now, I was like, you know, it's a little maddening because, you know, I'm like, the guys like your gums are receding, and I know the thing is the reason I'm telling you this is because I know several people that they're like, yeah, my gums are receding, and I don't know why. Get a water pick, just do it. And do it in the morning and in the night or three times a day if you want, whatever. 
I'm off grid and when I run things on electricity as of far as now, you know, I heat with wood and I have a little generator <clears throat> and I'm I'm coming out rain or shine to start up my generator to turn on the water pick to do this with cuz I want to take care of myself. You know, um why aren't the dentist why didn't the dentist tell me that? Why didn't they tell me that those pockets underneath there you can't get it all out with just you know, with uh, floss, you, you can't, I mean, I floss three times a day, and it just was not getting it all, so get some type of, like I said, I'm not a salesman or whatever, but get some type of water pick, and um, you will see, if you've never done it before, and especially if you have crowns, it's just absolutely necessary, you know, I, I know I have lots, you know, I have friends that I know they take care of themselves. They eat right and everything. And they're talking about their, their gums are receding. I can, I have a, a, I suspect that my situation is a lot more widespread than what you might, um, what you might think. So, um, I figured I would take the time to do this. I was real convicted. I'm like, I need to tell people this, you know, put YouTube to, um, to good use, you know, like um, public service announcement kind of things that can help your health. I hope this goes far and wide. And um, <clears throat> if you have anybody, if, if whoever views this, if you know of anybody who has receding gums and they just do not know why, you know, there's a scale from one to five or zero to five or whatever. And they're like, um, you know, they're like, you know, I, I'd go to the dentist and it's like, okay, these are two, this is three. Okay. This one's a four. And then the last time I went to the dentist, you know, like a year ago, a year and a half ago. And then the last time I went to the dentist six months ago, they're like, okay, this is three, 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 four, five. This one's really bad. You know, if I kept going the way I did, I was going to start losing teeth. Nobody wants to lose their teeth, obviously. So, um, if whoever views this, um, know somebody with receding gums, please spread this. I'm just a guy. I don't represent any, any thing other than myself. So just something I figured out for, for whoever wants to view it. Okay. All right. Thanks for listening.